What is that crazy hickbilly doing? No idea? It's all about hunting, shooting, and having fun. I'll show you all in just a minute what's going on. It's Hickbilly Outdoors with DW Verts. Be right back. So what I'm doing, these are wood shafts, 11 32nd diameter. These will be made into arrows for me to shoot out my bows. They have to be straight. Arrow has to be straight. So I'm pretty meticulously trying to get any bends, any curves out of these things. Now it's an ongoing process. Uh, sometimes it happens over the life of the arrow. These are a, a softwood shaft. They're easily straightened, but they're going to take a little work as I go. Lazy people need not apply to something like this. This is not buying an arrow off a shelf and going and shooting it. So, I get it straight. It needs to be pretty straight. I'm going to cut it to a length that fits more to me, my shorter draw length. This thing's way long. I'm not going to cut it all the way down, but I'm going to cut a couple inches off of it. Then I'm going to taper both ends to put a knock on one end and put a point on the other. Then we make it purdy. We start staining it. I get a stain on it. I'll get a cap. Be solid white from about here on out. Be solid white. Then I'll finish the air with some urethane. Then I'll take a paintbrush and some model car paint. And I'll put some cresting, put some pretty little lines on it just because I can. Just part of the fun. Put another coat of finish on it. So the arrow will be pretty much waterproof, way water resistant anyway. I mean, it's wood. We don't need to get them wet. And then when it's good and dry, I put feathers on it and we'll go shoot them. So it's, it's, an, it's a process. Lazy people need not uh, uh, apply for a job like this. This is hickbilly fun stuff. So I've got a dozen of these um, to play with. I'm going to do some work on them for a little bit. It's a beautiful day. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm making arrows I can shoot out of my stick bows and hopefully go have some fun with. There you go. Okay, now that I've got my shafts cut to length, I'm putting a knock taper and a point taper on each end so I can glue those on when I'm ready. Pretty simple stuff. So I've got a dozen shafts now with a uh, taper on the end for a point. That's what a 5 degree taper I think. And I have the uh, 11 degree taper on the other end for the knocks. Um, they're as straight as I can make them. There's a couple shafts there that are pretty much calls. I'll still use them for something. They won't be a deer hunting shaft I don't think. But I've, had, I've been surprised a few times over the years. I'm going to give these things a real light sanding real light. They've already been sanded when they make them. I'll uh, use some fine steel war or some uh, 320 whatever grit sandpaper. I'm going to smooth them up and we're going to stain them. Stain is a funny part. Stain them makes the wood jump out. So that's the next process. So uh, I'm out here. It's the last day of summer. 2021. Windy. Beautiful. I mean just gorgeous. 70 something degrees. I'm going to do this out here. It's not that it smells much, but it's just so nice outside. If I can keep a hold of everything. So I'm using two colors of stain. I'm going to do six arrows each. I, uh, I wanted cherry, but with this pandemic, there's no cherry available. I guess, you know, the cherry stains out fighting, you know, issues. So I've got a uh, regular wood stain. It's what early American, I remember it being, it's just a medium wood color. And the other one will be a gray. I like that gray bark look. So I'm going to apply this with a paper towel, very light, not trying to get on heavy, I want it to dry good. So I don't know if I can show it on camera or not, but we're going to try it. So 
again guys this isn't rocket science I'm going to take a paper towel I'm going to dip it in the stain get some on there I'm going to rub it on the shaft it's just not hard I'm going to try to do it fairly evenly I'm not worried about making a mess how dark I want the shaft I'm not worried about touching the shaft anywhere wet that's plenty good enough and I'm going to take another paper towel real quick I'm just going to rub the excess off just real quick. I just want to dry fairly quick and fairly evenly. That makes sense? It's that simple. I'm not worried about touching them on anything. I'm not worried about getting ooeys and owies on them so much. It's just, it's just stain. I didn't have to dip that. I didn't dip that again. I just get some on there. I want to penetrate the wood a little bit. This doesn't do anything waterproof or anything. It just simply giving the shaft some color. See how quick I'm doing that? Don't have to be perfect. The longer you leave it on, obviously the darker it's going to be. I'm not looking for special effects dark. I don't know if that's showing up very good. Just brings out the grain of wood. Just beautiful. I'm going to do six like this, and we'll do six in the gray. Well, that uh, this gray stain ain't had any pandemic problems. It's it's set up pretty ugly. It's kind of old looking. Again, I'm going to dip this thing in some. And apply it. We're just going to get a medium to a light. I call it gray bark. I've always liked it. And we're going to see how this comes out in the end. You know, just good stuff. Some of these woods take grain better, take a stain better than others. Um, some woods don't like the stain very much. Some um, open, more open, poor woods, I guess. But I'm not being picky. I just want to make me some nice function and arrows with just enough pretty to make me happy. Because kind of, it's kind of fun making them pretty, if that makes any sense at all. So y'all, there's probably five minutes worth of work staining those shafts. It's no big deal. They don't have to be perfect. The stain is simply to make them purdy. Because we like purdy. It has nothing to do with the functionality. Or making the arrow work better. I could easily. I'm a, I'll be finishing these in polyurethane. I could easily just finish the bare shaft in polyurethane. Um, to seal that shaft up. This is just for purdy. I'm going to let these things dry a day or two. Um, there's not much drying. But. I'm not getting in a hurry either. The humidity is pretty good right now, so they'll dry fairly quick. But I want them dry before I do the next step. Um, if you're in a hurry, traditional archery is not for you. Traditional archery is all about slow, cool, maintaining your composure. Um, I'm enjoying this. It's fun. Um, you do not have to have any heavy high dollar equipment to do this. I used to build thousands of arrows. I, I shipped arrows. I think 11 or 12, 13 different countries back in the day. I had a stroke since then. I don't remember. A bunch of places. And uh, so having the power equipment uh, to do this is handy. You can make tapers with just any kind of sanding machine. Um, they make hand taper tools like a pencil sharpener. It works very well. Uh, cut off tool. Anything will cut an arrow without splitting it up. It's good. It's just not that hard to do. Um, Next step, though, I'll let these dry, and I will put a coat of urethane on them. That'll dry for a couple days, and then I'll put a cap dip. I'm going to spray paint. I'm not going to dip it. I don't have all my wherewithal to do that anymore. I'll spray a white dip on them on the end to make them bright. I'll put another coat of urethane over all that when I'm done. I'll do some cresting on them, and I'll fletch them. And sometime this time next week, I'll be shooting them. I can make it a little faster than that, but I'm not in a hurry. I've got other arrows to shoot. Um, we're going to experiment with these for spine to see how they fly out of the arrow, out of the bow. Can you tell I'm thinking about going fishing? <laughs> i got other things in my mind. Okay, so that's the way you start on an arrow project. You can buy arrows ready to go. You can buy wood arrows ready to go. I like the wood. The good old-fashioned East aluminum arrows can be made to fly great out of a stick bow or carbon arrows. I... I mean, carbon's the basis of all life forms. I guess that's about as traditional as it can get, right? Whatever. I'm going to shoot wood. I like them. Um, 
said two of those shafts are going to be plankers. I'm pretty sure I'll play with them, but rabbit arrows, maybe make them into some flying target arrows, maybe. So, thanks for watching this, guys. Uh, um, thought I'd share some of this with y'all. There's a lot of videos out there, I'm sure, show how to do this way better than I am, but it's an ongoing process. It's part of the adventure of me trying to rediscover my hickbilly self. So that's me and what I do. I'm Dale Verts. Thank y'all for watching. If you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe, whatever. It's all good. God bless you guys. Talk at you later.